Hi, my name is Kathleen and I'm a forensic nurse. People often ask me what it's like to be a forensic nurse, so let me show you. During my shift, I have to keep my phone with me at all times so that I can take calls from law enforcement, hospitals, or the crisis line in case a patient who is a victim of violence needs treatment. Although usually, I expect the calls to come when I'm at the grocery store, at my son's soccer game, or sleeping, but those calls have to be answered too if someone is in crisis. I contact the patient and the advocate to arrange for meeting at our site. I see patients of all ages, races, and from many walks of life, anyone that's been a victim of violence. Once I'm at the site, I prepare the equipment and supplies so that it is ready when the patient arrives. Hi Erica, my name is Kathleen. I'm one of the forensic nurses. I'm here to do your medical forensic exam. Are you familiar with what that is? No. Well, what we do is we take a look all over. We um, look for any injuries that need to be treated or further examined. We also document the injuries that we find. While we're doing that, we collect evidence for the police department, and then we can give you medications to prevent um, STDs. After I get the patient's consent, we go through all the paperwork. I try to give the patient choices so they can maintain control of the situation, and then we go in and do the physical exam. The exam begins with the patient history, the history of the assault, and answering any questions the patient may have. It is vital that we collect as many specimens as possible before the patient has had a chance to shower. I look for bruises on the face, neck, arms, legs, or any injuries that may need treatment. I brush the patient's hair to collect DNA to be able to separate it from the perpetrator's DNA. I will also draw blood for toxicology to test for drug-induced sexual assault and get a urine sample to test for pregnancy. The exam room is full of specialized tools like the coposcope to identify things that are not seen by the naked eye, which research says makes up between 25 and 75 percent of the evidence. The patient will receive any necessary medications, instructions for follow-up and discharge paperwork, ensuring that follow-up care instructions are in place. Afterwards, I secure the evidence by sealing the kit and making sure it is stored in a locked cabinet. The kit remains locked up until it's given to law enforcement. Following the chain of custody allows for the evidence to be used in court. You may be called as an expert or fact witness depending on your level of experience. You may be asked to testify as to your role in the evidence collection and patient care, which can be as far out as two years later. Every patient's situation is different, but this is a typical day for me. If this is something that interests you, Oakland University offers a certificate and a master's degree in forensic nursing. Just visit oakland.edu nursing.